there's an annoying little spot near your lumpectomy that's just lighting up a little bit. Good morning. I'm Samantha. This is Gray. It's 7.27 a.m. and we are not morning people, especially me. <laughs> we are on the way to my breast MRI. I get it once a year now. And it's just to monitor things and make sure everything looks good still. Last time I had an MRI, it was perfectly clear and they didn't have to do anything. They didn't have to biopsy anything. So I'm hoping that that happens again. Me too, that'd be yeah. great. I'm sorry that I'm not going to really be able to show very much of the MRI process. If you guys don't know, a breast MRI is kind of weird. People call it the boob dangler. You lay down on this like bar that kind of goes between them. And then the your boobs just hang between. And then like the MRI happens around them. The gas station has gas today. Oh. Yeah, so to give you an idea when we're filming this, you know that gas shortage that's going on on the East Coast. We don't know how long it's going to last, so you know maybe that won't give any indication as to when this video is filmed, but maybe it'll tell you exactly when it's filmed. <laughs> I don't know the news, but there was some kind of cyber attack on something that controlled the pipeline, I guess, that provides a lot of the oil to the East Coast, I think in particular the Southeast, and apparently Virginia was the hardest hit. I read yesterday that 7.5% of Virginia's gas stations were out of gas yesterday, and that were thought included a lot here oh, in Charlotte. Oh, really? That included Only 7 Like, if you looked around here, you'd think, you'd it, think was it was 60, 70%. Yeah, there was only Costco, really, that had gas last night. Mm -hmm. And there was like a big line, and we went to Costco because luckily we're Costco members. I don't need any gas because this truck has a ridiculously giant tank <laughs> that I love. It's true. But Samantha needed some gas, so she could next week and we don't know how long this thing's gonna last. Anyway, breast MRI. It's my favorite type of MRI because I think it's the most comfortable. Everyone laughs at me when I say that because they're like, you like it having your boobs dangle down like that. And it's just, I don't know why it's the most comfortable for me. All the other types of MRIs are on your back usually and it just gets really, really uncomfortable for me. And like my rib MRI, oh my gosh, it was three hours long. And so anytime I get into an MRI, I'm like, oh my gosh, please don't let it be 10 hours. I'll take your word for it. I've never had an MRI or a CT yeah. scan oh, yeah, that's... or a PET scan or a bone density scan. I have had an ultrasound, but that's a different story. <laughs> that's so weird though, to think that I've had this many scans and they're just so normal for me. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. You're dizzy. I'm dizzy. I just got out of the MRI and yeah, I always am dizzy after it and really tired. And so that's what's going on right now. If they had asked me to like stand up and start moving right after the MRI, I wouldn't have been able to do it, but they had to do a ton of stuff. Like they had to let the machine down to the ground cause they, oh no, you can't like jump off the machine from a, two feet off the ground. That's like too much. You have to make sure it's down and then they had to take the IV out of my arm because it had contrast and everything. They have like a little circle for your head and it's like, I like laying on my stomach, but my boobs get in the way. But with this, your boobs don't get in the way because they just dangle down and it's basically a way to like sleep on your stomach without the pain of like pushing against your boobs. So that's why I think it's so comfortable, I think. And also your head is like straight down, but there's like a hole. So your head's not like smooshed in a pillow or anything. And then my arms are up on this nice little pillow. And I don't know, it just like fits my body really well. I'm sold, I wanna do it. It's so comfortable. And if it wasn't like making such loud noises the entire time and they kept talking to me to make sure like I was okay, I would 100% have fallen asleep. But I always go in, I always end up being more tired after it than I do than I am when I go in. I'm not tired, I'm just yawning. <laughs> anyway, we're in the Chick-fil-A drive through now because we're gonna get some breakfast because I feel dizzy and I need food. 
Hello, it's future Samantha here now, and I'm here to tell you what happened. So after my MRI, I went home and I worked a little bit, and then I got a notification from my chart. It's a website, it's an app that notifies you of your test results and your appointments and everything that has to do with hospital. So I got a notification on my chart that my test results were in. And I saw this report and I saw that they found a mass and basically the report said level four suspicious or something. Hi, it's future future Samantha here and I just want to make it clear that it, it wasn't actually a mass that they found. Like it specifically said that it wasn't a mass, but it was a five millimeter region or something that was suspicious. And the recommendation was to do a biopsy on it to figure out more about what it was. And so I started Googling because I hadn't gotten a call yet about the results, so I hadn't had it explained to me in like English and not like doctor's terms. I was waiting and it was stressing me out, it was stressing Gray out after he found out about it and we were just kind of like, we both didn't want to do anything. We were both just kind of scared because we were both like, what's this going to lead to? Finally, after waiting all that time, I got a call and I'm going to insert the footage from that right now. Calling you about your MRI, it mostly, mostly, mostly looks great, but there's an annoying little spot um, sort of near your lumpectomy that's just lighting up a little bit. It doesn't look like a mass, but it's just brighter than it was. And of course, we're watching you like a hawk. So mm -hmm. Dr the radiologist who read it and he doesn't want to let it go too long but he doesn't think we need to biopsy it right now okay we chatted about it a bunch and looked at it and if we thought we could just see it on our ultrasound i'd say just come in and let's do a biopsy but it's tiny and it's not a mass i don't think doing anything under ultrasound would be helpful to you it very well might just go away on its own so if we set you up for a biopsy the first part about an mri biopsy is they just scan that one part of your breast again Mm -hmm. and then they look to see if it's gone so rather than ordering a whole nother mri for like three months from now we're going to set up a breast biopsy and they're just going to scan that one little part again okay and then if it's gone then we all feel good it's gone and they don't need to do anything if it's still there then he would biopsy it it's still very likely like a fatty necrosis or tissue changes it just but you know we don't want to let it go and not and not be extra careful. Okay, so when would that be? Um, so I wanted to talk to you first before we put anything on the schedule. So it'll probably be about two to three months from now. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, I know it's annoying. I really just wanted to say everything was perfect and you can see it in a year, but <laughs> we just need to, we just need to stay on top of it. And, and what I really want to say is congratulations. You got married. I yeah, guess. I did awesome thank was you gorgeous yeah it was really it was really good don't let this ruin your beautiful you know honeymoon bubble thank you all right dear thank you bye bye you hear yeah, what do you think what do you think i don't know maybe she's worried and she's just trying to be nice i think that she's exactly what she said that call made me feel a lot better after we got it, but it also didn't really make me feel better, if that makes sense, because it made me feel better that like they weren't super concerned about it, but it also didn't make me feel better because it wasn't resolved. Like we didn't we don't know the answer, we don't know what it is. It could be something, even though they don't really seem to think it's a super, super high likelihood of it, there's still a chance of it being something. And so that kind of freaks me out a little bit, just a little bit. And so, I don't know, I was a little bit stressed about it for a couple days after that. I was just, it was kind of one of the only things on my mind I was thinking about it a lot. And I was trying not to because I was like, why am I making a big deal about this? Like, I've had so much worse things happen that have been more stressful than this. And this is the thing that's making me stressed. Like, it didn't make any sense. And I just realized that it's, it's only because now I kind of know more about cancer and I know more about what's going on. And not having those answers is kind of just a little bit stressful. Even though there's it's a smaller thing, if it was something, it probably wouldn't even be as big of a deal. 
it's just, I don't know, just not knowing about it was kind of annoying. So I went through a few days of that and Gray was trying to help me through it and and all of that, but um, now I'm not really that worried about it. And I will update you, I guess, when I have the next scan biopsy thing that they were talking about. So yeah, um, let me know if you have any questions about anything. Basically you heard the phone call, like they found a something and they don't know what it is and they don't think that it's important to biopsy it right now. So they're gonna wait two to three months and if it's still there, then they're gonna biopsy it right then. Um, but if not, then they're not gonna biopsy it. So I will be waiting the two to three months. It's gonna be a fun time. Um, but yeah, I'm honestly, I'm not even really thinking about it as much anymore before I was thinking about it a lot, but now it's, I, I haven't thought about it in a long time. I realized that I hadn't ended this video and I was like, oh, I should probably end this video. And so that's why I came on and got the camera on and now I'm thinking about it again because like I'm finishing this video. But before that, I wasn't really thinking about this at all. So I don't know, I'm feeling a lot better, but also like it's annoying. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps with like YouTube and the algorithm and all that stuff. Um, I don't really know how it works, even though I probably should. Anyway, also subscribe because it helps us out. And yeah, that's all. Bye.